Here we are in Lome, Togo, and I mean, this is a vibe out here. We are in West Africa, and when you begin to look around, I mean, look, look, it's coming up here to get me. I mean, family's having a good time. People are just, I mean, really just out here, real chill. And one of the things is that I never even thought to come to Togo. I didn't think to come to Benin. And for most of my life, if I shared in my videos, I didn't even think to come to West Africa. But the more time I spend here, the more time I'm realizing how much I've missed out on culturally and the way that things have been manufactured in the West. You know, they say go to Hawaii, go to Dubai, go to Paris, go to London, go to Amsterdam, go to uh, Athens, go to Rome. But how many people think they even come to Lome? Most people don't even know what Lome Togo is. But what I experience personally, when I come to this part of the world, is I see so many people who look like my family members. They, it resembles the culture that I come from in America, Gullah Geechee culture, DC culture. When people say, oh, do you, do you don't even know your culture, you don't even know the language, you don't know this, that, and the other. And I said, well, come on over here and see. And you begin to see people who look like your aunties, your uncles, your cousins, the same vibe, the way that we flow, the way that we move. It's just a beautiful thing. And what it does, instead of taking away from me, it has added so much to me. And I appreciate this part of the world. And when people say third world and all this other kind of stuff, first of all, if you're using the term third world in 2023, you might want to improve and expand your vocabulary or really understand what the term third world means and what, how it was originally, uh, with the, the original definition of it because it's not what we have created it to be. Uh, and so, I, I, again, when you come and you be among the people, you stand here, nobody's bothering me. Most of the people here speak French, but in what I've experienced in Francophone countries and Anglophone countries is that people generally are very, very nice, very, very accommodating, and that's why we're adding this to the Maximum Impact Travel Experience because I believe that travel, education through travel is one of the best forms of knowledge that you can add to your life. Uh, it's just something different. I mean, we talk about cultural experiences, we talk about all of that and seeing the world, but when you leave out these parts of the world simply because of the perception of it being poor, you know, a wise person can see wealth in what is perceived to be poverty. And those are the types of people who uh, I try to inspire to come to this part of the world and meet these people, see these sites, and you just hear the laughter in the background. You see people living their life. You see families everywhere. So that's what Maximum Impact is all about. Even among all of the apparent chaos, there's a familiarity. Again, I don't speak much French. Everyone here speaks French. But even with the language barrier, even with the distance between the Atlantic Ocean, there's a familiar vibe, a cookout vibe. It's, a community vibe, it's that type of thing that I believe is something that's special that we have culturally as a part of the African diaspora. And again, I can watch this on a video, but I'm standing here among the people. I don't feel any fear. I'm not sitting here worried. They don't know what language I speak. I mean, I know what language they speak simply because of where I am in a, in a French colony. But just being here is just something to behold it's really special and again i can't read about this in a book a video gives us a little snapshot into it but the reality is see my man back here come here yeah see yeah. that see i'm from togo togo oh you're done go oh yeah my name is nastali nastali yeah, i'm jay jay my pal jay okay okay ah well nice to meet you Okay, are you originally from Togo? Yeah, I'm from Togo. Okay. Yeah, I speak French very, very well. You speak French very well. Uh, English, I try. Yeah, a little bit of English. All right, nice meeting you, brother. Thank you, thank you. See, it, it, so there's random moments like that. He just rolled up and, and that was it. So until you see for yourself, you'll be listening to somebody else tell you that they don't see you as a brother or sister. Person like this one, you call Oh, that's nice. Number. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. I saw this one, person like, you call uh -huh. my number. Now, 9, 3, 10, 5, 0, 4. You got the hustle. Very, very What's your number? Come on, yeah, call him again. Yeah, yeah. What's your number? 228. 9, 3, 
10 35 04. You call this number, I go so I'm very, very well. So, so, fine, that, fine. so now you know who to come yeah. see when you come to Togo. Yeah. <laughs> My man, I love it. Okay, right, take care. All right. But see, that's the deal. We have the hustle. We understand what it's all about. We recognize the power of the camera, marketing, all of that. And so this is what we do. This is who we are. I can go to any street in New York, DC, New Orleans, Miami, Chicago, the Lou, Houston, Dallas, San Fran, and you'll find a brother or sister out there hustling, making it happen. But right here in West Africa, same vibe. So that's the deal. Check this out. This energy, energy out here. I mean, it's, it, you just gotta be here to experience it. That's all I can say, you just have to be here to experience it. The horses are out, people up on the pier, families. Man, I tell you, what an experience. What an experience. Endless people everywhere. Everywhere. Zoom in on that real quick. That's the energy. Hey, it's all about a vibe here in Togo. That's how they do it. Here it's over. Adventures of Darren and Destiny. And Darren and Destiny are twin brother and sister. And you go on their adventures throughout the African diaspora, meaning so African diaspora destinations, primarily focused in Africa, but we go to South America, we're gonna to go to the Caribbean. Their first book is going to take you to Ghana. And then we're gonna go on a safari. And from there, we're gonna to go to Ethiopia. And then we go to Salvador, Brazil. And what the goal is, is to be able to inspire curiosity in the continent of Africa, in our children from a very young age, and to really tell a more accurate story. Most of our children are exposed to negative images, late night infomercials about how bad things are, everybody's sick, everybody's poor, everyone's uneducated, but that's simply not true. So what Darren and Destiny and their family do is they go to different African destinations. They are learning about these different places. You're beginning to see positive images, but still telling the truth. I mean, that's the important thing, to tell the truth about some of the things that have occurred. But it's all done on a children's level so they begin to understand it. And it begins to pique their curiosity. They begin to learn more. And hopefully one day they will want to explore and visit the continent of Africa and its many countries. There's just so much that Darren and Destiny are able to do and as they're doing it, it's, it's like they begin to open the minds of a, a new generation. 
and they don't get bombarded and indoctrinated with negativity, they're actually able to see positivity and inspiring images and messages about the African diaspora, as well as those who are still indigenous to the continent of Africa, and they begin to learn more and, uh, and just see things differently. So I'm excited about introducing the adventures of Darren and Destiny.